Now, I originally started in the morning up at another farm just up the road from this one. But the birds there have learned to land on the roof and peek through the air vents to see if I'm there. And if they spot me, they will not come into the shed. So, instead of wasting my time there, I decided to come up to this farm where I have a nice wee seat here and uh, a steel beam to set the rifle on to rest it. Now the cattle are out of the fields and brought into the shed so the farmer started to feed them and therefore the magpies and jackdaws have started to turn up. It's not long before the first bird appears but he's not given me much of an opportunity and flies off but I know with the amount of birds flying back and forth across the uh, pen it won't be long till I do get a, a good opportunity. A couple of jackdaws just flew by there. And sure enough, with a bit of patience, the two of them come into land. I get the rifle ready, get onto the one on the left, and take it with a headshot. Now this really spooks up the rest of the birds. And I've left this next bit more or less unedited, to give you an idea on the time scale these birds were shot in. The sound of the birds outside seems to have spooked the cattle back into the house again. But a second bird, this magpie, lands on top of the beam, followed by a few others. I take the one in the foreground with a heart shot just to the corner of the shoulder. Then another magpie lands. This time I take it with a head shot and it just flutters out of uh, camera shot to the right there. And the cattle are a little spooked. Between the sound of the birds and the sh shots with the air rifle, they're starting to move back down towards the pen again. But thankfully they move out the road before uh, any birds arrive, so they didn't get in my way. But it's no time to relax. Before long I get another opportunity. bird just swooped down into the right there. And then makes his way into view along the top of the beam on the right. I go for a heart and lung shot here. But just put the pellet low below him. You can see here with this freeze frame the dark line down his breast where the pellet actually left a part in the feathers as it passed below him. Close, but no cigar, and he'll live to see another day. Again, the, co the cattle get a little spooked again, so I have to be careful when and where I shoot. But thankfully they move out of the road after a minute or two. And I get an opportunity at another magpie on top of the post. I should have took him here but realised the safety catch was still in the rifle. Then when he turned again towards me, I took him with a heart and lung shot. Birds are quite agitated now, you can see a, a few of the jackdaws that are about the farmyard floating around the skyline above. cattle are all standing wondering what all the fuss is about. Well, things quieting down now. I think the fun's all over for the day. It was over very quick. Let's see how we're done. You can see with the amount of dung in that. This is a fairly favourable post here. 
shot the jackdaw first. I think that was a headshot. Things happened that quick. Magpie lying right beside him. I'm not sure if that was one of the headshots or heart and lung shot. I'll have to look at the footage. I believe it was a heart and lung shot. Two inside the pen. This bird here. Looks that might be a headshot. That was the one shot in the heart not through sure. the shoulder. I know that and definitely was the headshot. And the one that sort of fluttered out of view. And I'll have to admit, I needed to put a second shot in him to make sure of it, even though the cattle almost trumped them through the slats. But that's four birds in a very short period of time. I've only arrived here. So uh, that was quite successful. I'll just have to pick them up now and uh, find a nice thick hedge to throw them in so Mr Fox you can feed on them the night. There's a couple, two or three of them are clean enough to use as uh, decoys somewhere else. We're getting them gathered up now. After I gathered the birds up, I did have a look for the magpie that I missed, just to make sure I hadn't wounded it. But after looking at the footage and editing, I'm pretty sure all I did was uh, shave the feathers off his belly. Well, it was a fairly quick session. I've got four birds in the bag even though I did miss one but that's hunting for you.